Hey guys, Lily here. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you guys a nice simple little recipe that I think is great for this cold weather um, to keep us nice and warm. It's, um, I don't know what it's called, but in Spanish we call it just a ponche. So I would say like it's a fruit punch, like you drink it as a hot beverage. And um, like I said, I think it's great for this cold weather. So yeah, guys, let's get started. <laughs> I always try to share little recipes with you guys that are simple because um, I don't want you guys to judge me. Um, I know that there's a lot of different ways to make this punch, just like any other food. So any video that I upload that's a recipe, don't judge me, guys. I am not a great cook or anything, but I try because like I always say, I'm a mom and I'm a wife and I try to please my family and everything. So... Um, hubby wanted this punch and um, I learned it from my ex-sister-in-law usually all the food I give her credit the little videos that I've posted here on my YouTube channel um, every single recipe that I've posted she's taught me how to do so this beverage is one of them as well and um, I wanted to give her credit even though we no longer talk um, she taught me this little recipe and when my hubby tasted it he loved it and it's like I said very very simple so that's why I share it with you guys so like I said no judging and I hope you guys I hope you guys like it so the ingredients for this fruit punch are as listed and you can use any fruit you want guys but I just chose to use guayavas um, sugar cane and apple because that's what my little family likes but you can use the jocote and you can use tamarindo and you can also use orange if you like um, but in my case like I said this is what my family likes so this is what we're gonna use so in a pot I already have some water um, heated up it's not boiling yet and you add your two piloncillos first like so excuse my um, scratched up pot guys <laughs> but you add your two piloncillos first so that they can sweeten your water and then you're gonna grab a handful of Jamaica and you're gonna add it in there and the Jamaica like I said is for color you see that's a big old handful that I have just drop it on in there and then um, you kind of eyeball it so I felt that I needed to put a little bit more so I added just like a little pinch as y'all could see it wasn't like a handful like the first one you're also going to go ahead and add your cinnamon at this point. I added six cinnamon sticks, um, and that's just to add flavor to your punch. This is the fruit that I'm going to put in my punch, guys. Um, it's the only one I could find in syrup. I usually buy the frozen kind, like these, the frozen guavas and the frozen sugar cane. But like I said, I looked everywhere and couldn't find it, and I just um, I came across these, so I'm going to give these a try for the first time. Okay guys, and once your water has turned like this um, pomegranate, bright ruby red color, it's such a beautiful color. Once it's turned this color, um, you're going to want to go ahead and take out your Jamaica and your cinnamon sticks. Um, just because the Jamaica gives it a bitter taste if you leave it in there longer. So just, um, just leave it in there long enough. It is boiling as you guys can see, but it hasn't been in there long. It doesn't take long for it to turn um, that ruby red color. So just take it out, put it to the side and let it cool off and then discard it because you're not gonna need this anymore. And this is how it should look with nothing in there. You just have your juice that's already sweetened and colored and it has a Jamaica taste and the cinnamon taste and we're ready to put in our fruit. I already have my apples and my guayavas cut up and guys these with syrup um, what I'm gonna do is put them in the blender with a little bit of the juice that's in the pot and blend it up so that it could add a little bit of thickness to the juice and it won't be so liquidy and let me show you guys see this is how it looks beautiful colors you just blend it really well and um, again this is so it can add like a little bit of thickness to the punch and so it won't be so liquidy and once it looks like this all blended up um, your next step is to pour it into the pot with your um, boiling water just like so it's gonna look weird at first guys like not so you know yummy but once all the flavors start mixing together and it boils it's not gonna look like this anymore and it's gonna look good 
and yummy. And um, on this part, after you put that, you start putting your fruit. I'm going to pour in my guavas. Guayavas. It's funny when I say guavas. <laughs> my apples and let me see. The rest of my, um, the other half of the guavas in the jar that I didn't blend. And also my um, sugar cane. There we go. I poured all of my fruits in and then I gave them all a good mix. Mix them around and then just let them um, come to a boil and cook. Look at how yummy all that fruit looks in there, guys. When all the, the flavors mix together, when it boils, it just it tastes so good. And the house smells so delicious. Guys, and I just want to let y'all know real quick. Um, whenever the apples cook, I don't know why they swell. And they just rise to the top. So just make sure that whatever pot you're using, make sure you leave like a good enough space on the top so that your fruit... When it's cooking, um, doesn't overflow and you make a big old mess with your fruit everywhere. <laughs> Just thought I'd let you guys know. And once your fruit and your punch looks like this, it's done and ready to be served. Um, I serve it like this and I eat it with a spoon. Like I'm, I'm sipping and then I eat some fruit with a spoon. Some people drink it all and eat the fruit last. But it's all up to you how you want to enjoy it. Um, this is one of hubby's favorite, favorite drinks to drink in the winter to keep warm. And I hope you guys like it. Um, but yeah, that's it. And there you guys have it. A nice warm punch to keep you warm for this cold weather. I hope you guys liked it. And like I said, you can use different fruits. It's up to you and um, sweeten it to taste. For this recipe, I like I said, I use the jars that I have never used before. Um, and syrup, like the fruit and syrup, that's what I mean. And um, that syrup added it added more sweetness to it so I didn't have to add any more sugar what y'all saw that I put the two piloncillos um, for sugar that was it I didn't add any more sugar um, just with the syrup that came in the little jars that the fruit came in that's all I used so um, and the orange I don't like to use it because it makes it bitter if it's there like for the, a couple days because I, I, when I make some, I usually make like a large pot. So it'll last for a couple of days and the orange makes it bitter. So that's why I don't like orange. Although it makes it taste really yummy at first. But like when it's been there a couple of days, it, it gets bitter. So that's why I don't like orange. And the other fruit, the tejocote and the tamarindo, my family doesn't like. That's why I didn't use it. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys love this video. Or not love this video, but like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And, um... Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And if you tried this recipe, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.